course, joined by Max Baker and James Porter, and this is our radio show here on ESPN Radio. We have a lot of topics to get to today, but first we are going to talk about our AL and NL MVP picks. So James, what do you think about the NL MVP? Well, for the NL MVP, it was a very tough decision, but I'm going to have to go with Carlos Gonzalez because he's been hitting home runs consistently. He's top of the NL in home runs, and I think he's just a great pick right now. Max? I feel that Yadier Molina, with an over 340 batting average, and is leading the AL All-Star Game votes for the, uh, the NL All-Star Game votes, and I believe he is the best defensive catcher in the league. Well, I'm going to have to go with Joey Votto. He's not at the top of any of the categories, but he's been near the top. If you take a look at Yadier Molina, he's only been in the top in batting average, not a power hitter. And if you take a look at your pick, Carlos, Carlos Gonzalez. Gonzalez of the Rockies, he's only hitting home runs, and that's in a big hitter's stadium, Coors Field. So I'm going to have to go with Joey Votto. And Max, what's your pick for the AL MVP? I, will go, I would go with Chris Davis. He has been a home run hitting machine. He has over he has 33 home runs and 85 RBIs and an, a 3.20 batting average. Yeah, he's a great player, but I'm going to have to go with Miguel Cabrera because he's leading the league or very close to leading the league in tons of categories including batting average, which I think is the most important uh, statistic when you're a hitter. Well, I would have to say on-base percentage is the most important statistic, but I think that's beside the point because Chris Davis, I definitely agree with Max, is definitely supposed to be the AL MVP. He's leading in home runs, he's leading in RBIs, and he's a close second, a very close second in batting average, Well, while Miguel Cabrera trails a little bit in home runs. True. Well, it looks like we've got a caller on the line. Yeah, this is Max in Lombard. Max? Hi, how are you doing? Good. Nice yes. to talk to you. What are your reactions about Lombard? Well, there there were a lot of upsets in the first round, uh, in the first and second rounds, getting out Federer and Nadal, which was huge. And also, it's a very big surprise that a British man won the Wimbledon first time in 77 years. What do you guys have to I, say to that? I feel that um, that the courts, since it was rain, like the weather in there was awful. I feel that that may have affected the the. Rafael Nadal and Roger Federer's play and maybe led to some of the upsets. And I thought it was very strange that they, the win came on 7-7, which is July 7th, the 77th upper, um, year before a British person won the Wimbledon. Yeah, no, Rafael Nadal is not going to lose to a 135th seed very often. And that'll do it for our radio show. Thanks for listening.